Hello traders, Rich here and here's a quick but detailed update on EURUSD. As usual, if you like video analysis, let me know in the comments or simply leave a like. As you clearly see, EURUSD has been overall bullish, making higher highs and higher lows, trading inside this flat rising channel in red. And we are currently approaching the lower bound of the lower red trend line, acting as a non-horizontal support. Moreover, we've got this horizontal support and resistance, so this area is a strong one as it's the intersection of two rejection zones. So long story short, overall bullish, approaching a support looking for trend following bar setups if you zoom into h4 time frame we can see that previously we have been bullish then price broke through the previous low around the upper round and then we have been bearish since then trading inside this falling wedge pattern which we can clearly see better from h1 time frame so as we approach this area we'll be looking for short term buy setups moreover for the bulls to take over for a medium term perspective and to go for a long position we need to see a break above the previous major high which we can clearly see right there so long story short again and again i'll be going for a long position after break above this major high and the target a one to two is to reward ratio to have an edge over the market from a risk management perspective meanwhile and until the buyers take over or the bull the buy is activated urusd can still trade lower in this case we'll be looking for shorter term buy setups on lower time frames before we continue, I want to tell you about Tickmill. Tickmill is established in 2014 and is one of the leading Forex and CFT brokers with registered users from more than 200 different countries. Tickmill is an no-dealing desk and ECN broker regulated in many countries like the UK, Cyprus, and recently in South Africa. With Tickmill, you can trade a wide range of instruments, starting from Forex to indices, commodities, and even crypto. Most importantly, with very low spreads and trading fees. If you don't have an account yet, make sure to create one using my referral link in the description below to benefit from 5% discounts on your trading fees. And let's continue. As we clearly see, AUD and ZD has been overall bearish, making low lows and lower highs trading inside this falling red channel. And we are currently at the end of the correction phase, approaching a very strong resistance zone. It's a horizontal one, multiple rejections from it previously, and also this upper trend line acting as a non-horizontal resistance. That's why this area is a strong one, as it's the intersection of two rejection zones. That's why we'll be looking for trend following sell setups unless it's broken upward in an aggressive manner. In this case, further bullish movement would be expected. So, long story short, while overall bearish approaching a resistance, let's zoom into the door time frames and look for sell setups. Previously, we were bearish making low lows and lower highs, and then price broke above the previous high so the bulls took over around the support traded higher so we are following the same logic for the bears to take over we need to see a break below the previous major low in this case we can go for a short position stop us above the previous swing high and we target a one to two risk to reward ratio to have an edge over the market from a risk management perspective meanwhile and until the bears take over until the set is activated adn zd can still trade higher inside the range around this resistance or even break it upwards. Best of luck and I'll see you hopefully on the next one.